Oh, okay. But you can't come over here. You mean okay, I... You're on private property. I'm asking you to leave okay. right now. All right. You have to leave. You're on private property. Well, I want to have a conversation with this guy right here. Yeah, but you can't right now. He's busy. Yeah, you want to talk to me, then you have to wait. But if she's telling you, okay. you have to leave. If you, you have, have to leave this property. property. This is private property. All right. You need to leave. I'll leave. Hey, ch relax, lady. I said I'll leave. No. That sweetheart, it's dangerous. No, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> well, go on. <laughs> yeah, but you're not going to do that again, now, are you? Ready to go meet this dude? Let's do it. All right, guys, we're about to meet Denver Metro Audits. Try not to record his place so uh, you can't tell where he lives. <laughs> nice. Is there a doorbell? Who lives here? I don't know. Somebody lives under there. Yo, what up? What up, man? Come on in, bro. Come on in. Yeah, what's up, little doggies? That's loafing, little... mini. What's up, dog? Appreciate Good you. To see you man. Thanks for having us over. Mr. Mm -hmm. Freedom. What up, man? What's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Too. What's going on? Thanks for coming through, guys. 
You guys ready to do some shit? Hell yeah. City Hall is nearby. Lakewood Civic Center. Yeah, you don't you see, search government buildings. Government. Search nearby government, government facilities near me. U.S. Census Bureau. Oh, North Carolina. That was a near me image. Bureau of Land Management. Yeah, that's a nice car. 40 SX. Oh, that was an L. That was a Lexus. Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll have an order that says you can't. I've already tried those. It says you can't record. It's like a chief judge's order or some shit like that. They got all uh, kinds of uh, tyrannical orders around yeah. right here. Oh, dude, tons. There's a Rooney Valley Law Enforcement Training Facility. Let's hit that up. Where is it? Okay. Put it on the, the, the maps. Lost in the mountains. How far? training facility. neighborhood. You want to hold this or should I leave it in here? Leave it in here. You want to hit it before we go? Yeah. So we're out in Colorado right now with Denver Metro Audits approaching the federal prison because we don't like life and we want to spend some <laughs> time in here with a bunch of other men and that giant tower over there that kind of looks like a penis. Well, we're seeing if they maybe they'd give us a full tour, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. they not want to take us into the back and show us the cells. Show us how it's done around here. I want to give us some new uh, orange jumpsuits. Who knows? <laughs> uh, here it is. Denver Metro Audits and Direct D. What up? <laughs> Got a car behind you. And then run after the blue car.
shot right there was money. This is no truck. This is no trespassing. Inmate, so, inmate visitor parking in West Lot only. Right, which is going to be over there. So this is an inmate visitor parking lot? Well, when I talked to the lady, it was up this road. Like I said, that's, when I stopped over there, she told me to just come over here. <laughs> I think that's it. That's for the visitor parking. You can only park in the West Lot, but... This is open. But this like, is all open. Yeah, if you need to go. I mean, it's not closed, but it's yeah. I guarantee you, they're gonna. The first thing they're gonna say is, "It says no, no trespassing right there." Right. It's federal property but it's open too. Open to the public though. So how's that gonna work? Yeah. So how does that work? Yeah, that's a good. That's kind of. I remember seeing that. That's why I didn't. Wasn't like sure about it. There's no like. There's no uh, CFR there. Right. It just says. It's just a sign that says no trespassing. Right. I could buy that sign. Yeah. Hmm. I think it's, like she said, you can come in here and, you know, visit I'm you, want. To you guys. I'm just following you guys around. You make the, you make the decision. I mean, I think that would be the quickest way to get ourselves into some trouble. Just because it says no trespassing on it, you know? Right. I mean, we could stand right here, and one of these people that are leaving are gonna have a problem. Oh yeah, record people coming in and out. They hate that. And I did that before. A lot of times, what they'll do is they'll yeah, they'll call the cops on that, or they'll call the security guy. on how to visit somebody at this prison. Yeah, a, we got another security guard. Maybe he's been be more responsive. So we were told to come and ask you guys if, if we can come in and take some B-roll footage in the parking lot right here. You can't take anything. You have to stay on the sidewalk over here. Okay. That's the closest you can get. So if you guys have a zoom lens from there, yeah. you can get as close as you can get. But Well, I was trying to get, uh, I was trying to document like a documentary on how to go about the procedure on how to go about visiting an inmate at this prison. So like I wanted to go in and walk. This is who oh yeah, you're not you doing that. <laughs> no, bro, you, you just come in and take film. Yeah, why not? Well, no, not prison, not. Man, this is security. I mean, I'm not asking to go behind the doors. Yeah, and no, the it's not box, happening now. You know, I mean, just no. into the lobby, right? No, no, you can't do any of that. Uh -huh. uh, if you wanted to do something that for documentary purposes, you would have to get it approved to the warden, signed off by everybody, pass like a background check to come in. You know, you can't, I, I totally you get that. If yeah, I'm you guys aren't even supposed to be right here. So, I'm Why, right? so we want to know, where's the public? If you come in here to visit someone, where do you, do you walk up into over there? Is that the public area? Yeah, they go into the front, depending on who you're visiting, because we have three different institutions. You know, we have the camp over here, regular, and then the FDC So on the other side. So that's the doors that we go into to visit people? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because, I mean, if it's open to the public, then, I mean, the camera shouldn't have anything to do with it. It's open, right? There's so, I mean, that shouldn't matter. No, you can't bring cameras in. Yeah, but I mean, so. can you tell me the CFR then? Is there CFR that says you can't bring a camera on the public? Yeah. Actually, that's posted. The the CFR? Right across yeah. the street. The CFR? Can posted? you please step across the street? You're not let the no, no, I'm just asking property. what the CFR is that says they can't come in here with cameras. If it's, it's open to the public, I'd say you come into this. You're not allowed to have recording devices. That's why I'm asking, man. Can you tell me the CFR? What are you just recording across the street? Well, I'm asking you politely if you can tell me the CFR. Is there a CFR or is it to go across the street is posted? I don't know your name because you're just you're not you're not listening. I'm trying to ask you if you're just across the street. Can I give you your name then? Yeah. 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 What's up, boss? Put my camera down. No, no, no. 
Okay. Don't touch me, you're tripping. We're gonna leave, man. If it's a problem, we'll leave. Hey, they're, they're getting antsy. Let's just go, dude. It's not a big deal. We got everything. Oh, are we, am I, uh, can I be, can I ask, uh, if I don't leave, am I, am I gonna be arrested? Well, these guys can't arrest you, but they'll call the police. Are you the warden? Is that your name, or are you the are you the warden? Did you know you tried to grab me right now? You probably shouldn't do that, bud. <laughs> Why are you guys all antsy, man? We just wanted to, huh? This is a federal prison, man. What do you think? I know, but it's 2024, and we got cameras. <laughs> We're not trying to come inside the fence. What I was asking is if we can come in here and take some B-roll using this as a backdrop. No. I mean, this is, is, every, it, is every, this every, a, every video with cameras. It's always sidewalk right here. It's just a public egress. Is a, this is the, the prison limit. that Tim, Timothy McVeigh was at, right? It is, yeah. That's, that's a long time ago, man. That's part of the reason why we're here. Is oh, really? We do YouTube videos on stuff like this. Okay. We see these First Amendment audit videos, and we understand why now. <laughs> huh? Where are you guys from? I was born in China. All right, gentlemen. You guys moving on? Yeah, we're gonna leave. Appreciate you. I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't get your name. Monsukani. 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 It's a cool name. I just couldn't figure out how to pronounce it. It was definitely a unique name. Go get him. Come, let's go. Come on. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think there's no way they can do anything about us right here, right? No. I think that because no would, trespassing is right there. I would just stay right in there. there, dude, and tell the cops to come around and say, "Hey, what's the CFR?" That's what they. That's what they want us to do, though. She doesn't know it. She doesn't know it. There isn't one. If there was a CFR, they'd probably have it posted right here. Really me, man. I swear, I stupidly thought this was gonna be uneventful. <laughs> like, oh, I knew. I already knew. What? It was I mean, we got the camera footage of us asking this guard what we can do, and he said to go in there and talk so to him. We, that's exactly yeah. what we did, is we went in there and talked to him. Yeah. Hey. This ain't over. They're calling the police right now. I'm watching them. So we should go. Well, we're off the property. That's that's the gate. It says no trespassing. We're off. I don't understand. Shoot, what's that sign say right there? I wonder. You see it on that fence. They all say no trespassing on it. All over there. Sir. That yeah. One too. <laughs> People can just drive right in. Though. Like I said, well, this is where I drove in the first place. Place. Let's go on the easement thing. All right, we got a bunch of people walking towards us. Hey, Jim, you got a bunch of people walking towards you. So it, it should be... These ain't cops, so I'm running if... Uh, no. Everything, but 
you guys have, if you go to film, you have to be in the public easeway. Yeah, that's, that's where, where we're, we're at, at right now. No. We're on the easement, sir. Uh, Wrong. We're on the easement. Right. We're not on the property. We're on the easement. See how there's the, the light right here? Right. Yeah, but there's no light right here. See how there's enough the room for a person to walk? Yeah, you're, you're right. pointing over there. Right here, too. This, this, this is this area know, that's on this side of the road. It starts from the dome. Now that you guys know, but typically we'll start from right there, you're good. But so on this side, you're... Okay, so you're side. saying, what are you saying? That you want us to move two feet this way? I mean, what, what are you trying to say right now? You guys be able to just move yeah, across just, the street? Right no. there, right no. there. No. I'm not going to move across the street. See, if somebody no, wants to be, walk down the side of the road, they can be right here. I'm just saying either right there... Right Let me explain to you how trespassing works. You see this fence and the signs on it? If we pass that barrier after we've been warned like we have, then we're trespassing. Right here is out in public. I know that you don't get paid very much. I know that your your you know your job is not that difficult. I mean, I did spend seven years in the Department of Corrections myself, so I understand your job capacity, and it's not all that complex. This is very complex. You're arguing things you don't know. Back away and go back into your job. You're getting paid not to talk to us right now. We are out on the sidewalk. Just because you don't see one paved doesn't mean it doesn't exist. You're going to look like a fool on the internet. Is that what you want? The internet's forever. Do you have friends and family that watch YouTube? Because they might see you on the internet. Let's act professional and not stupid and argue things with people that know that what they're talking about. We're not here on accident. This is a First Amendment audit. So obviously we know what we're doing, right? I love it. No one's arguing with you. No you are. You're saying go across the street. That's infringing upon my right to fucking stand here, dude. What is the difference between right there and right here? Can you articulate a logical difference? I'm letting you know. Is that what you were told? I was letting you know what was so you right there. Yeah, but if it's not right, you shouldn't come over here and engage me. If somebody comes and says, hey, I don't like the gauges in that guy's ear. Can you tell him to get out of the McDonald's or something? I'm not going to fucking do that because it's not right. I'm out in public right now. You're out of your job capacity as another man speaking to me, asking me to go across the sidewalk. That's crazy, dude. I wouldn't do that to any of you. I wouldn't ask you to do anything. I have no authority over you. I don't get to tell you anything. If you're standing behind me in McDonald's, do I get to say, back up, go across the other way. No. It is very much Literally, all we wanted to do is walk in the parking lot and use the prison as a backdrop, and we would have been gone. We were told by another one of your employees on camera to come in there and ask you that. That's why we approached. I don't know if it was you or the other, somebody else, but we came in there because we were told to. I'm not arguing any of that. I, I don't know why. I'm not arguing any of that. I, I, why are you over here talking to me then? Why are you over here talking to me then? Well, what, what was so, so if you love our First Amendment right, you would just walk away and disengage right now. Say, hey, you guys are out in public. Appreciate you. Have a nice day. What department are you waiting on to get here right now? Would be. What, what department are you waiting to get here right now? Who? A sheriff or local PD? Huh? That's all they're doing is waiting for PD to get here. We, we did as you asked. We came over here. I don't even think that's lawful. I think we can be on there, but we did. We did follow your directive. We came over here. Now you're coming over telling us that we can't be on this public easement right here. We need to go over there or across the street, man. If somebody's walking right here and they're just walking by the prison, they can clearly be on this spot that we're at. So we're nowhere near. We're not on the wet, okay, to your place. We're coming here. Thursday with cameras. We're not trying to hide up. We can't hide up to you guys. So I don't know why you're still here, man. Why don't you guys just go back to
Hey, man. Hey, man. Can, I, can I talk to you? Hey, look. I, I have to go in. I have to go home. Right? But I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm just saying the internet's forever, dude. All right, no. When you're told to come out here with a bunch of dudes with cameras, do you know how many subscribers, but, how many people are going to see understand. this? understand. But you got to care. I have to it's your all this. It's your future, dude. This job's temporary. It's forever. The internet is forever. It doesn't go away. It doesn't go away. 100% with the first member rights. No, I'm just saying. I'm not calling you any type of names, but I'm not supposed to do it. Well, well, that's what we're trying to order to come out here there. and tell us to go across the theater over there. Is that what that's called? Yeah. They got edumacated. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. That guy came out was in regular street clothes. I don't know if he was like the... They have a cop here. They do have a cop here. No, there's a prison cop that works here that has arrest authority. He's still over there in that green shirt in my Ram over there. Waiting to see where we go, probably. He's probably going to follow us around and shit. Hey. Uh, this must be like, uh, I think this is employee parking right here. That's why they're tripping on us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But I looked on that website. I didn't see anything that they were talking about to see if it says it can't record. I didn't say anything about that. I said they're closing the gate now. Yeah. All for a... Like, do they think we're gonna go back on now? Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's the point of that? You're gonna have to come back out and open it up when all your employees need to shift change again. That was not fun. I started to get fucking pissed like they're coming over here and flex on me. Fuck you, motherfucker. Huh? You can tell. So what are we about to do? Go to Littleton. It's like Littleton City Hall. The police department's right there. Littleton, Colorado Police Department. We're gonna go put cameras on them and see how they react. <laughs> and it, I mean, it looks like it just looks like some mountains right now. But when you get up in them, it's like man. They almost look like mountains we have back home. Once you get up in them, you can like feel the difference. I'm not explaining. This is my old hood, dude. Like, it's, is this Littleton right here? The suburb of Denver? Yeah. But this is like my stomping grounds when I was a kid. This is actually like the ghetto of Littleton. I mean, it's ghetto, not ghetto, it's but ghetto Littleton's like nice, you know what I mean? But this is like the ghetto, especially down here. It's where all like, they call that like Little Mexico. All the Mexicans live in these apartments that are all like run down and shit. But it's like a high crime area. But it's funny because like literally a quarter mile up that way is like multi-million dollar homes. And then this side is like ghettos and shit. But I mean, Denver's nice, man. Like when I went to New Mexico, it was in Albuquerque. And they, the spot they call the war zone. We're on the pale, on the pale trail of some bacon. Yeah. And the thing is too, a lot of these guys, they know what I drive to, so he might figure out if I am if we're following him too long. Sticking cameras up my head. This is another building here too. This is uh, all government stuff right here. 
There's a courthouse right there. This is like probation right there. And then there's the food stamp office. I have a video at the food stamp office. And I went up here to the probation. They didn't give me any hassle, so it was fine. But I haven't been there in like two years, so it could be different now. What the fuck are we doing right now? We are following this cop, poking him with a stick. <laughs> following all the traffic laws, and this guy, when we first started following him, didn't use a blinker and rolled right through the stop sign. Right. That's and once he realized we were following him, now all of a sudden he's doing everything right. We're conducting an investigation on a, on a lawbreaker. Yep. And a suspected oathbreaker as well. Yeah. Got it. Well, let's see if he... Gets upset enough to call in back up. I bet you this guy has a patrol. Like, this is like when he goes out on patrol, this is the same path he takes every day until he gets a call. Until he sees something. Yep. I bet you, I wonder how hard it is to be a cop, man. Like, like if you're especially not high crime like here in Hudson, you just drive around all day. Like, they're boring. They don't, they don't do much. Right next to him. Is that to you? Oh. Is he gonna pull me over? He wants to see your plates, I'm yeah. sure of it. Guarantee you he's wanting to see your plates. Yeah. It's fine, you know? Let's get out and go talk to him. <laughs> Guarantee you he takes off well, as soon as you approach. Let's sit for a minute and see what he does. So I'm just gonna record on my phone if we get out. Should we just be like, we're just checking out what the cops are up to in Littleton. <laughs> See how long he hangs out here and does nothing. He's calling in your plates right now, is what he's doing. Mm hmm. If I go right here with my zoom in camera, I might be able to see his cat. If they have any kind of warning system, uh, they got one from that from the feds. Oh yeah, the from the prison. Tell people, yeah, tell where we were. They probably notified all local law. Mm -hmm. People are out recording or whatever. You think so? Think they do that? Oh yeah, they do it in Arizona.
Where are you going, baby? we were following. Oh, and he's calling him in. Hey guys, I'm from Metro Audits, aka the Mile High Auditor. Doing some cop watching. I saw this cop doing a whole bunch of traffic violations. I'm here with Jim Freedom. What up? So let's go talk to this cop, man. He didn't use his blinker like four times. Let's see, we're working with uh, 242. Oh, okay. Well, you just, I mean, I wasn't trying to record you. You just kind of walked up to me. Yeah. No, <laughs> but, but you can't come over here. I mean, I, I, you're on private property. I'm asking you to leave okay. right now. All right. You have to leave. You're on private property. Well, I want to have a conversation with this guy right here. Yeah, but you can't right now. He's busy. Yeah, if you want to talk to me, then you have to wait. But if she's telling you, okay. you have to leave. If you, you have, have to leave property, this property. This is private property. All right. You need to I'll leave. Hey, relax, lady. I said I'll leave. No, I asked Can I get your you name and badge? I'm leaving, ma'am. I'm telling you. I just need to get this guy's leave. name and badge number because he made contact with me. That's, That's all. Fine, just calm I'm down. You on this I property. am. I told you I'm going to leave. There okay. Just you. relax, lady. You can't be Jeez. on the property. Jeez. I, I got gotcha. you. Officer, will you do me a favor Lisa? and just try to be better at using your blinkers and stopping the stop sign? Yeah, that's why we were following you, man. We're just fine, but I'm asking you guys to leave. I'm talking to him. I'm leaving. Thank you. Don't be so aggressive, ma'am. What happened? Oh, they were. They trespassed us. We asked them to leave. This is well, that property. lady was like tripping, dude, acting all stupid, and then <laughs> he said something to her. To her, did you guys ask him? Is your yeah. blinker is your blinker fluid broken? Yeah. Yeah. Asked about the blinker. Yeah. Then. Well, I I was. Uh... By the time we got to talking to him, because that lady bombarded us. You know what? That's what he did. He went up there, yeah. talked to him, say, "Hey, trespass these guys when they come that's out." Exactly what it is. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. I already know. Mm -hmm. Scared little bitch. He's on an emergency call. There wasn't no lights. We were traveling around all. Yeah, over he's the calling city. you in too. That's funny. Let him call me in. Cool. What? What is called? I bet. I bet you he's he's not gonna stay there too long. He's two forty two. So that'd be funny if you, if we can run into him again. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Bye, lady. We got superhero security over there. You know what's really funny about her? Is I was sitting there like this. Like a six month turnaround. Maybe they had it like framed out or something and I just didn't notice it because it was framed. Yeah, now yeah. that it's like a full building, I've noticed it. So, let's recap. We went to a federal prison and out. Freaked out, and we left on our own accord. We weren't forced to leave. After they did a walk of shame. Yeah, they ended up doing the walk of shame at the end, though. After, yeah, after I lost my cool. Yeah. And then we went, we followed this cop for a while that repeatedly didn't use his blink. Well, he did sometimes, and then other times right. he didn't think that it was prudent. Right. I think maybe he just was low on blinker fluid, yeah. so. Possible. Um, Yep. And then uh, pulled into a parking lot at the hotel, ran my tags, and then phoned out, and followed him all the way to the hospital. That's when he went over and talked to the security guards there and said, hey, when these guys come out, trespass them. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. We walked over there and immediately, hey, you guys are trespassed. He definitely ran to that. He looked for the nearest call of anything yeah. happening so that he could go involve himself in it so that he could be away. Yeah. And it was on private it was property. on private property. So, he, could not so he knew he could go on private property and then that they would be able to tell us. And they were fully ready. As soon as we walked up, they wanted us gone. And you met Hungry Greta. You met Hungry Greta. Who, of course, didn't want to be recorded. I get a, uh, information, a card from the officer that did all the stuff. He did the not uh, using blinkers and running stop signs. We calculate what four or five times at least that he didn't use a blinker. I calculated four blinkers and like probably like Two three, or three stop yeah, signs. Three yeah. stop signs that. Oh, and there was a stop light too. Remember he did stop at the stop light. Yeah, right, yeah. right. And coming off of that private property hotel, yeah. uh, going to the main street, he's supposed to make a stop, and he did. That's some shit that he'll pull people over for and escalate a situation. Yep. Shit that he does himself on a regular basis. But I guarantee you, if you talk to a cop and ask him, I don't pull anybody over for not using their blinker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Well, I mean, when we came up to talk to him, we could have just been cool to us. But right away, man, it was aggressive. And right away, he was hiding away, and he had all the paramedics run his defense for him. But the, yeah, so that he didn't have to. It was just right. Because right. he needed them to say, because remember that lady was like, yeah, I'm a representative of this lady, so I'm asking you to leave some private property. She had it all I, prepped up. Uh -huh. you know, ready to roll. Like, he probably had coached her on what to say, you know. As soon as they get here, tell them you're a representative of this private property and that you're asking them to yeah. leave. And we did, remember? And I was like, okay, we're leaving. But I was like, I need to get, because that cop talked to me, remember? Yeah. And I was like, well, I just need to get your name and badge number. And she's like, you need to leave. And I was like, I need his name and badge number because he made contact with me. Yeah. And bam, he whipped his car out right you, away. It's a private property and I've asked you to leave. Yeah. He could get his car out fast enough to yeah, leave, he, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And then I was like, okay, we're leaving. And then she just kept like having to say, you're not welcome here. Like, she just kept, I already told you, we're, we're literally like walking away. She just had to enforce her author authority over us, man. I did tell him as we were walking away, I said, officer, you need to do better at using your blinkers and stopping at stop signs. Yeah. You punish us for that shit, you need to do it yourself. And then the, and then the troll, the toad, whatever her name yeah, is, yeah. hollering still and don't come back and all kinds yeah, of yeah, stuff. She, yeah, she literally, as we're walking away, she said, and don't come back because you're officially trespassed yeah. from this property. <laughs> I said, okay. <laughs> Like, you're gonna remember my face, are you? Yeah. You're gonna put my picture up on the wall yeah, in there? Your top 10 most wanted at yeah, yeah. Adventist, bro. <laughs> I give you five bucks? It's definitely an inside joke. Give me five bucks. Give me five dollars. All right, so what are we about to do? So we're about to hit up the Denver. About what? We're about to hit up the Denver Human Services. I already hit that one up and got the cops called immediately on us, so. Security guard guy, the sergeant security guard, doesn't know the law, so they definitely need a follow up visit. And there's tons of government buildings in there, so I'm gonna hit that up and then uh, maybe meet up with Regan later, fix this. Cool. And check out some more stuff down here. Long story short, we're gonna put our cameras on some government. <laughs> That's right. Like right now, we're recording. 
So, explain where we are, what we're doing. So right now, <clears throat> like we said, we're at the Colorado Human Services facility. And it's really just a complex full of uh, government entities. They got LEAP, they got um, a mental health hospital here. They got all kinds of services and stuff like that. Um, it's for the city of Denver. Sweet. <clears throat> Maybe we'll find, uh, what's his name, uh, Sergeant Thiel from last time. See if he wants to come talk to us. Thiel? Thiel, yeah. I guess I guess security guards over here, they got their sergeants and everything. <clears throat> They're probably getting them suited right now. <laughs> All righty. <clears throat> Do this. Let's go. I'm not ready. You know me. I'm not ready already. <laughs> well, hold on. We gotta go back to the house for a fucking lighter. <laughs> Seeing what I do too, though, is like shit that I know I'm not gonna need, right? I'll just toss that shit out. Yeah. Lighten my load a little bit. Okay. Alright, now I'm ready. All right, let's get this bitch on. I'm following you guys. So I'm thinking, since we're over here, you want to just hit a... Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. Let's go right there. You don't even know what building that is? I have no clue. Let's go look for a sign that says what it is. Hold on a second, it doesn't look like my... what it is all i know is that it's public i don't really know what any of this shit is but like i said i walked around here probably it's like two and a half years ago when i barely started my channel but i got i was walking over to these hills area people who help people maybe they will help us <laughs> Sheridan. It says this building is the Colorado Mental Health Fort Logan Medical Center. Oh, okay. So you can access to this building from the view up on your left will be connected to Fort Logan Operator. Access to the University of Colorado Sheridan Health Clinic. Yeah, so that was where I was last time across the street. Yeah. So maybe we should go over there again. They are absolutely not going to let us in here. But they got some cacti in there. Let's see the 
cat guy. Perfect fit for Arizona. Yep, they're representing Arizona here. That's looking kind of sad, man, like Charlie Brown tree or something. A stick in the mud. <laughs> Don't be a stick in the mud. Don't be a stick That's in the mud. That's an example. Don't be that. Don't be a stick in the mud. I suck at reading, don't look that on me. Life is a series of collisions with the future. It is not a sum of what we have been, but what we yearn to be. Jose Ortega. But you don't want to yearn to be anything. You just want to be. You just want to be. Yearning will try, there's only two. Yeah, yearning will only just attract more of yearning. They say the, uh, Act of wanting something puts exactly that out into the universe. You know, experience the want of it, and what does that mean? You don't possess it. Yeah. You're admitting to the universe that you don't possess something that because you want it. Yeah. Look who it is, guys. We got a special visitor. What here. is going on? Well, you got a problem? I'm not. Yo, I'll solve it. Confrontation. Where's the confrontation? Where I want a confrontation. Where are the cops? Why is this all? Who are you? I'm kind of going to show up. I'm going to need ID. You see this broken nail? nail right there. You see this broken nail? Karen goes crazy because there's no <laughs> cops. <laughs> broken nail. I'm Over sorry. What at? I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Finally. I'm a, Why are you? I'm a real person. And this is <laughs> Jim Freedom. Jim Freedom. Jim, doing? Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Well, I knew you were real. Yeah. I just didn't know how real. She had her doubts. What, what brings you to our our Cali Rado shit state? This, his, this, this guy, he's the first documentary what? I'm doing. Really? Yeah, yeah we're doing uh, like third person documentary style of different channels. Each individual channel. So we'll come back and hit yours and right? go hit up some homeless places and figure all that I out. I really freaking love yeah. that. We're, we're showing people what the different auditors do, like what it looks like from a third person perspective. You know? Right on, you guys. Thank you. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so no Popo? No, we literally just got here. Like, people oh, love it. Place oh, yeah. People love us. I hurried and shit. I know. Well, it's because we had to stop Aww. and get food, and then and then and then he didn't order, and it's, then we had to order for him. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna eat none because I thought it'd be too much meat, but then it was. Oh, are you on a salad kick like me? Um, I just uh, don't prefer He's like meat. I'm not a vegan at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. I literally but, just ate bacon. Have no, cooked. no, I don't cook. They know I don't cook. Yeah. But he cooks. But I told him I'm taking him out for a steak dinner. But yeah, no, I'll wear this. I've never taken him out. <laughs> I'll cook tonight. I get asked a lot about it. Um, in the public defender video, they ask. Really? People ask about it all the time. And then the Colorado Springs one, the public, not public utility. It was the school district. 11. Down in the Springs? In the Springs. They asked that officer right asked me about it. So. Wow, thank you. Timmy's mom will be very appreciative of that. I don't wear mine very often. I just can't keep, I don't know. I'm not, I just. I so what should we do? Should we try another building? Well, I think, yeah, let's probably, let's go head up. You want to head up on that side? Uh, those are we're here of, for you, brother. I think let's go, let's go this way because those are kind of like, they don't really have any public lobbies you can go into. It's all like locked and stuff. So you know the actual mental hospital is clear back. Sorry, thank you so much. Oh, I didn't know, I didn't see that. I don't come to the mental hospital. She must be new. Yeah, she said she works in a different building or something. We got the security guard there, see, he didn't even acknowledge us, so he must have got an education. Quarantine and personal protective equipment guidelines. 
Yeah. What does that mean? You know what? I caught it a few times. Right. Come with us, or what? Saturday morning, huh? Did you fly? Drive. Drive? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna drive you for 12 hours straight. Yeah, they got in like yesterday at like what, seven in the morning? Yeah, something. Drove all night and we went out and did, we already got a banger of a video at the prison and you already saw that I saw that short, that was good. Did you go on the property or? Yeah, we went yeah. on the property. So we actually kind of messed up with the you know, side that we went on. It wasn't the visitor change. side. Like, it wasn't like no while you're recording or something. Yeah, it's yeah. right back uh, there. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever the side is, but I drove in there one time. That exact area, and I went all the way back there, and I came back, and I saw a CO with their car. And I stopped, and I talked to her, and I just said, hey, where do I go to visit? And she's like, oh, just park right there and go in. And I was no, like, no, okay, no big deal. As soon as you go over the camera, all of a sudden, the end of the world. But we should have went in on the west side. That's where the parking lot is for visitors. But the reason why it's oh. gonna be a good video is because they, they told us to leave the left, right? Because you know, he's got warrants and you know, we're not trying to, they're out of town. But then they, they got stupid after we followed the directors and they came to where we were All on the, the way out there. and told us we need to go across the street. And it's like, no, 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 now you're taking it too far, man. And now that wasn't flying. All they had to do, they probably wouldn't even publish the video if they would have just left us alone right then. You they had to the end of it. But they, had, they had to just keep coming like, that they're gonna bully us. That completely cross-eyed. Oh man, wait till you see the full video. There's, they couldn't stand this girl, Jade Cohen, super rude, couldn't stand me. I just asked her some oh, questions. She, she murdered her in her mind. <laughs> yeah, with her she looks. Was, she was like this, like she literally had her fingers like this and she was like squeezing them like this. She was standing there like this. Was she the one with the hair over her face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. One. They all know who you are. Yeah, you That's the thing. Film or whatever, but the smoking you gotta be 50 feet from the front door. Oh, all right. All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I think so. We can move it on from here. Clearly, there. Is that a garbage right there? I think it's a garbage. What are we doing now? Well, now we are at the, I'm not sure what the name of the facility is, Last Regan, but this is the Juvenile Detention Center. So again, this is where they lock children in cages for ridiculous crimes. And we want to see if they uh, if they have child labor here, right? Yeah. So we're going to ask if we get it. We're going to ask them if they get uh, labor work uh, out of the So children. this will probably invoke their uh, school security response. Jeffco has a shit ton of like roving security. Right. We'll probably call the cops later. <coughs> so this is Lakewood. And you know, Lakewood police are really well educated. Pretty much. They hate me, but they're yeah. all educated. So if they come, I'm not really too worried about it. In fact, I was just telling Direct D that that's the video I like the best is when the cops or when the employees act stupid and call the cops and the cops come and say, hey, nothing I can do. Right. Oh, shit. Um, I mean to ask you, that Arapaho County judge you had for the shooting case, was that Kelly LeFay? It was a female judge, right? It was the blonde female judge? Yeah, it was her. She's my judge. Yeah. She's the single good one now. I mean, she's really Doctor, nice. Did you do a bench trial? I was a bench trial. Why? Uh, apparently I didn't. You didn't put your jury summons in? Milo fucked it up. And then, but then, then they were saying that I didn't even qualify for one, but I had to have qualified because I didn't, I'm, maximum is 10 days jail. Qualify for a jury trial? Yeah. Yeah. Because the, I was the only one that they didn't add trespassing to. They added trespassing to everyone else, but they didn't add it to me for some no reason. So your lady didn't want to come? She wasn't, uh... No. It's hard Same traveling thing. with two... Bringing kids and everything? Yeah, two little kids. 
two baby mama. I got one kid with one, an 11 year old, and then two young ones with. You get along with the older one? With my son? Yeah. With, not, with him, not his mom. Yeah. His mom's a super. Okay. You hear that, Brienne? You're going to be in my video, and I think you're a. Also here with Big Sis Regan Benson. We are here doing our thing. Going on. And one other guy. I'm not here. I got warrants and shit, bro. I'm not here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shows you I'm out in the desert hiding like everybody says. You big chicken shit. Are you, are you talking to the door? Oh, there's somebody in there? Oh. Are you a detail? Yeah. I just want to go in. Oh, hey, this guy needs to get in there, please. Sorry, man. Are you good? I just want to get in. My camera, I don't even know how to use it. Property. Like public property. 
I'm just requesting that you step up to the front. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. If it's a request, I'll play. Uh, we promise we have no ill intent of just expressing our First Amendment right to document public facilities that are open to the public. You know, obviously, we don't plan on going behind any fences. We don't plan on trying to breach any security. Accessible areas to view what's available to be viewed from the public field. If you have privacy concerns, you sure, I'm sure you know that it's up to the person to create their privacy. If you didn't want them to be able to be seen from the public, you make a block wall instead of a fence wall. That people can see. Yeah, okay. Cool. okay, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Yeah. Can we get your name before you go to? Hey, hey, can I get your name? See, I, I don't understand. Man. You came out here kind of cool, and then, you know, now all of a sudden you're just being rude and it's not, it's not necessary. Man. I'm asking your name. They don't have privacy. Sorry, Jay. This is one of them. They don't have privacy. I feel like he didn't buy it. He's calling somebody on me, probably. Yeah, um, oh, okay. You on the phone about us? Probably. What's up about public facilities? Yeah, so I'm sure they're probably calling the cops on us now or something. But the reason I got mad is that guy just walked away from the doctor, man. He says they need a valid ID card to visit. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I don't, I'm not trying to block you there, sorry. So what do you think? How do you feel? I think you're probably going to talk to us right now. So we'll stand around and see how they get. See if they, uh... is open to the public, so it says right there, visitors, so. And of course, the reason I got a guys, is that I've seen those people. Yeah. Is that the one you were talking to? Do you know if they called the cops by chance? You don't know? You don't want to talk? Is this your car? She's not interested in so talking. She's just rude and she had a little smirk when she Japan. when she the shrugged. Man, second, you know, that I she talked to me, like wasn't hi, how you doing or nothing. Just rude right away. They're harassing me. They're pointing their cameras He's into my vehicle. Mm -hmm. I feel uncomfortable. I feel unsafe. Fuck yes, yeah, leather jacket's feeling like a mistake. What? All tobacco products are prohibited right below an ash tree. It's full of cigarettes. <laughs> That's gold. Uh, and there's a bunch With of With a bunch of cigarettes yeah. in there, too. <laughs> Here, I'm going to do a little video. Start with the cigarettes. Thank you for your cooperation. He might not be for us, but now we're leaving, so. We're not here for this.
unless he too. unless he just rolled by because right. he saw we were leaving. <laughs> Damn it. Let's act like we're walking back on. <laughs> <laughs> this actually is not their jurisdiction. It's Lakewood, son. Is this a crazy coincidence? Yeah. I don't believe in coincidences. <laughs> All right. All right, so we are here at the DMV in Lakewood, Colorado, and this one is the one that I had a few videos with. We did an interview with Rob Baker, the director of operations, because their employee in there, Diane, called me a and all this stuff, all the slanderous stuff about me. Terrible over here. Um, and then Sergeant Larson, who came to respond, called me a jackass a bunch of times on the body cam. So well, we're just going to come do a quick follow up here and make sure that they learn their lesson before we can move on to that. Right on. And they also called the police. Uh, Big Sis over here was actually the first one that, that did this. And they called the police on her. They called the police on blind man audits. I think this is too big for in there. Too big to be. I don't think so. I think this is going to show more authority when we go in there. Like, you guys want to mess around. Now look on back with four people. You know what I mean? <clears throat> do you want me to, like, do some business? You lost your truck? Yeah, I have a mental audit that gave a mile high auditor. I hope so. I hear a lot. You lucky to have interview with uh, Rob Baker. I remember that one. So I told him I was going to come back and do a quick follow up. I said, cool. I'm not going to hang out all day. I'm watching this video. Probably because they didn't do a good job. And I'm here with Jim Freedom from Arizona. I'm also here with Big Sis Rudy Benson. Let me do that for you. Thank you. checked in online that would be through your text messages and it came back with congratulations you're checked in do me a favor keep that page open be, and listen for the overhead voice every time you hear the overhead voice now serving when it is your eight, turn it will send F you a text message as to which window to head to six, if you've checked in and your text number, message says congratulations you may proceed to the chairs behind you basically what happened is they got the right Now serving A F T 523 at station number one. Okay, we're ready. Go. Good job, everybody. <laughs> I would yell at now the serving disturbing the beat. He took a picture of it. He took our picture. He took our picture. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Hold on. Let's go back. He said, oh, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. You're going to I'm going to go ask him a personal question. Here he comes. Look, he's taking more. Okay. There he goes. Yep. <laughs> I'm actually private. I'm actually private. And then why are you taking it? 
Actually, no, I'm just saying it's ridiculous instead of letting him do his job. And I do not, and I, my husband's a lawyer, I do not want my picture taken. So please do not take my picture. Oh, you gotta take your picture until you're sitting there saying, oh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Yeah, I just want, I just, I'm just saying, she asked me what was going on. I explained to her that was it. So do not take my picture. I do not allow it. I, I don't, actually. I have every right to say I don't allow it. You have a right to say that. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't mean that you have a right to stop. Mm -hmm. I, I, could, I could just knock your camera over and then give you fucking, what, 50 bucks that's going to cost? Okay, Sorry, thank you. Knock my camera over. Like, seriously. seriously. So you're just threatening me? No, I'm not. Opinion? You're harassing me right now, actually. You're actually harassment? No. You are harassing me. What you're doing right now is harassment. Right, my husband met up with his I guarantee you they're the I know exactly. Did he teach you that you're taking someone's picture in public? I'm not taking a picture. I'm looking at my text message. I didn't say you were taking a picture. You so said that I'm I, harassing so you're actually, you. So you're actually wrong. No, so like, I asked you about five pictures. Please not take my picture. I'm asking you that. Stop. I'm asking you to just stop. The smart one leaves. Okay. I'm actually just asking you to stop. I'm asking you to please give me five pictures. I am asking you. No, I don't want five pictures. I'm asking you to please give me five pictures. I'm asking you to please give me five pictures. I'm asking you to please give me five pictures. I'm asking you to please give me five pictures. Can't even hear what I'm saying. You're listening to respond instead of listening. I'm just asking to understand. Stop and leave me alone. Like, leave me alone. No, please leave me alone. Like, please leave me alone. Your husband's an attorney. Please leave me alone. So, now, if I were to follow her around, maybe that could be considered irrational. He's just on the other side of that. Yeah. Let's park back here then. We're right there. No, you can't park over there. Is there anything in the there's back? No, I don't, there's like literally no. Oh, park. he's got his lights on. Oh, he's coming out. He's going oh, he's going right. He's going right. Go right. Go right. Come right. Here we go. There we go. And we got a cop watch. Come on. She better notice. I hope she notices. Oh, got one. Got one. Excellent. All right. We made our day, officer. She's back there like she was going to turn back there. She thought he was at Max's. Yeah, he's pulling that truck over, I guess, huh? Yep. Booyah. Booyah. I wonder if I know this guy. He's a black cop with uh, glasses. Oh, it's Williams. Yeah, he's got glasses Williams on. Williams is the guy that choked out Aurora Transparency, dude. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, so this might get fun. Shit, man. So he's an asshole? He's a fucking asshole. So we might be on some fire right now. All right. All right. 
Do the pocket GoPro. Huh? Pocket GoPro? Oh, you got it on your chest? Yeah. All right. I will put it in my pocket, though, because I think my hair has been getting in the way. I knew he was fucking doing traffic, dude. I've been looking for cops while we're moving around. Yeah, that was a good eye, man. Am I gonna pull out the big one for this too, you think? Uh, I think we should just cell phone it. Yeah, it's cop watch, you know? Yeah. Hopefully they park somewhere convenient. Yeah. It's a green public street. <laughs> yeah, past them, park in front of them. Park in front of them right by that sign. We do this thing. Stand on the passenger side. Me? Yeah. It's Brucey! A nice truck. Yeah, they got brand new Tahoes or whatever. <laughs> I need a little pig squeak. You know those dog toys that squeak and they're pigs? Yeah, I have one. I need that with me, especially for Bruce. Come here, Bruce. Can I squeeze your head? So you oink like a pig? Please, squeeze. Please. Oh, pork. Oh, that's illegal too. So, so here, here's some cop watching advice for you guys. He's pretending to play it cool right now, but He's if you if you were to go over to this guy's passenger window and try to ask him what he pulled him over for, you know what I mean? Which is, there's nothing wrong with that. That's when they freak out. Well, he won't even engage with us, I bet, if we try to ask him a question. What, the guy in the truck? Yeah. No, this guy. Oh, you're talking about the guy in the truck? Yeah, that's okay. what I'm talking about. That's perfect. See what he, see what he got pulled over for.
Hmm? Then what's the you think so? Fuck yeah. I know so. He's all fucking hooked up here already. So you probably shouldn't be over there talking to him? No. Hmm. You got a car coming in the road. Jim, get out of the road. Bruce is the one that grabbed Aurora Transparency by the neck during that mass arrest. Oh, I didn't see I didn't see that. Oh yeah. When the five got arrested, him included, he grabbed Liz by the neck. It's all on camera. Hmm. Williams. So it's speeding in a school zone, but did you guys see any flashing lights saying yeah. school zone? It's, yeah, it's, it's school zone. The lights were flashing though, it was active. But where's the photo radar there? Yeah, they were. Yeah, well, I've seen them around a bunch. I actually recorded them a couple times since. But did you recently. see Aurora is shutting down their photo radar? No, I didn't. Because they're in the hole. A half a million dollars to run that photo radar in Aurora. Can you imagine with all the awareness how far they're in the hole? Well, you want to know what they did? I don't know if you noticed this, but they passed the CRS that says no longer do they have to physically serve you. They just mail it even to your old mailing address. That's served and they can send you to collection. People are misreading that statute. People still think you have to pay. That is not service. They just moved some language around in that bill and told everybody that it's considered service when it's not. You're on the sidewalk right there. You're scaring Brucey. Bruce, quit being a chicken shit. Quit being a little pussy. Why are you rolling your window down for two seconds at a time? That doesn't make any sense. We're have a conversation, roll the window down. Yeah, I was oh. getting pissed. Bruce does stupid shit when he gets pissed. If you pissed. like that, it makes you look like a coward. It makes you look like a dumb, punk ass coward. That's just what it makes you look like. If you want to change your look, don't be a coward. Roll the window down. Talk to somebody. You have to impede traffic, yeah. Right, the law is impeding traffic. Yeah, if you're standing in a roadway, it would be a condition. And you'd go from that truck driving across, it would guarantee a fine and you'd go to the end of the road. That's the only problem. The only way to get away with technicality is the law. That's pretty clear. If I went into the court, if I was standing right here, and he takes me to court for it, charge isn't going to say standing in a row. The charge is going to say impeding traffic. And that is obviously not happening. People can stand in the street. The kids are playing in the street all the time. That's not illegal. That's right? what I'm saying. You're allowed to stand in the street. You're just not allowed to impede traffic. Try to choke this guy out. You have the, uh, I'm a job of the 
Okay. Don't worry about it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying you don't. Like, that's your driver's license. Well, I'm going to enforce that speed. So it's a speed zone hours. Just make sure you have a slow down. It's 8 to 10 before May 16th. We have a um, motion for you. Well, these guys are out of here. Well, there's another one. Back up. <laughs> Your buddy's here. He's got a cross in his foot. Oh. <laughs> Hernandez. It's not Running the one. Right now. You stole his girl's last one. Get on the sidewalk. Get on the sidewalk. Yeah, Oops, no good. Let me get out of the way real quick. Yeah, good That's idea, fine. dumbass. Let's take a picture of my car. Ah. Sorry, man. find something in my car. See this motherfucker? You see him? See you later, you punk ass bitch. Oh, he's doing. Bye, you punk ass bitch. He likes to fuck with me. Hey, fucker. Fuck off, cocksucker. Sorry, man. So he said he pulled me over for a speed zone, for the school zone, and gave me a ticket for speeding. He pulled you over right now? Yeah, so he pulled that me over. That was you in the truck? Yeah. That yeah. Was him. Oh, what's going on? I live right here. What's going on? But he pulled me over for. Pulled me you over want to be on camera? For, no, okay. no. You don't want to be on, on camera. camera. Yeah, but yeah. if he pulls me over for for, for uh, going through a speed zone in a school zone, he gives you a speeding ticket.
This is your business. I'm going to go in and make sure. After you, bud. How about you get out of here? Is this your business? How about you get out? Is he the only one working in here? Your barber just assaulted somebody out here. He's about to get arrested. I'm helping you out. People are zooming into the parking lot. And you guys are on camera with audio in here. Good. Trespassing on you haven't the told me to leave. I just said, please go out the front. There he goes. Did you see this? Yeah, this guy right here. This guy right here. right there at first and he's telling us we're not allowed to stand here that this is private property obviously you know that's wrong he uh was telling us that we had to leave and we were telling him no obviously we don't have to there and and then he got over and of course he kept telling us we had to leave and i started telling him fuck you we're, not, we're allowed to stay here fuck off and go back to work and he literally fucking waxed my phone you can see all the cracks and everything all this damage and they all have footage of it he literally smacked it hard and it went flying at least 20 feet and it's broken so i have a 12 hundred dollar phone now that's broken you have video footage yes we have we'll show you right now regan you want to show them video footage can, can you can i see your footage this is the best as soon as I figure out why you guys keep uh, running I my plate. Fucking, like, stood back I didn't run your plate. You just fucked up. Now I have to call and you know, charge with the crime and walk law. And you got to be tired of doing that. Know, but I, their words were exchanged. And then he obviously nice went back inside. Be careful with traffic, guys. 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 I don't want you guys to get hit. People are crazy. Yeah. yeah. Just be careful. Just step up here. He, he be can't careful. trespass us from the whole parking lot. There's multiple businesses here. He can't trespass us from the whole parking lot. Well, we're investigating. He can't say Are you looking for us, charges? Uh, well, I'm going to offer him the opportunity to settle it out of court. It's a $1,200 phone. If he wants to settle with me for $1,000 cash right now, we can keep it out of court, and he won't have a criminal charge on his Otherwise, we have to yeah, use the well, court to recoup that. that. I'm forced to use the court to recoup my, to recoup my damages. So this, that would become a civil matter if you go that route? In which case, it melt us out. So. If, if it's over $1,000 in value, doesn't that really? make a criminal? Well, if you're trying to get him to agree to a payment, that becomes a civil matter. No, well, no, no, this handshake. Just what I'm saying yes, is, this, 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 you, no, it doesn't become a civil doesn't. matter. Now you have to take the civil court. Well, he would have to say yes and right. do it right now. Have a feeling right now. I have a feeling like he won't. He won't right, right. You I'm can't. Just saying we're extending the option. That's hey, all hey, I'm saying is um, he can't enforce him making you pay. If he doesn't, he wants to press charges to seek exactly. the money. That's exactly. that's what it is. Yeah, it's only if you can offer him that option. If he wants to, he can, and he can do it in front of you so that everybody can we can walk away. And everything can be done from then, and that's it. Otherwise, if he doesn't, if he's not okay with that, I'm forced to yeah, use the state to recoup my damages. Can I get to your license? Uh, I don't have an but I can get my information. It's a nice truck. Do you have anything prior when he walked up to you guys? I don't, they do. You guys have, I guess, video when he walked up to you guys before he actually did whatever he did? Yeah, uh, I did. Yeah, I got all that. And you guys are just standing here? You were on the sidewalk. The Nobody approached the store? Did anybody approach the store? <laughs> no. I went in there and asked him if he had a boss in there and he said that he was the owner and then asked me to leave and I left. Okay. I was going to go in there and talk to the owner if he worked there, but he was the only guy in there. Okay. That was after the fact. I'll be okay. right back. Okay. Well, that's great to hear. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. Okay. 
Hey. Man, they're making so much money with that shit right now. Just uh, they they're 400, not, though. $400,000 a year, maybe. Well, unless you're saying they're losing money now. Well, it's going to get interesting because people have figured out they don't have to pay that shit. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that, that I was telling you before we got sidetracked, yeah. the mainstream <laughs> said that they can... They so they're going to go see if he wants to cough up some money right now. So no, it's a wrap. It's not a lie. Go, go, go read that. Go, go read that in detail. Okay. I didn't actually read it. I just, yeah, I guess that was my it. mistake. Taking their mainstream well, work for it. Well, of course. They want, you know, they want to generate revenue for governments. That's how they get their news stories. Yeah, well, Coletta was in there, some chick, man. She's the coders one. Yeah. They brought it because I told he told them on dispatch. The guy's saying he's got camera. ADD. No, he's got oh, he's, he's autistic. Got autistic, yeah. right? So they can't. They have to approach him gently. He does have. He's autistic. Yeah, because he came That's out and said, he said, "I'm autistic." So what? I, you can say that all he wants. Yeah. I don't give you. That is not a free pass to fucking assault people. Well, we don't want him going in there and, of course, killing. No. Right. So. That's what they're going to say we're doing right now. Uh, we're going to get a lot of those comments. <laughs> you cop callers, like, you stupid fuck. That's what the police are for, is to recoup damages from a victim. So, I'm going to get Not to write these tickets. Doing it. Just so yeah. you know, I hated that. Every second of it. I hate it. But I'm forced to. I'm forced to use their well, assistance or whatever to recoup my damages. Otherwise, I just lose out. I'm All a victim good. that can't have no recourse for a Well, I am going to go, we're going to go over here because I have to do that thing that you want to do, but I want to make a public records request for these body cams. Did you get your haircut finished? Did you get your haircut finished? No? Sorry, man. We're going to go record the judge getting dropped off. Oh, oh fuck, so. I forgot about it's that. It's 4 o'clock. Oh, shit. It's just around the corner. Yeah, it's literally like, you can walk there from here. It's in Sheridan. Okay. Yeah. It's here. Yeah, I definitely want to do that if they can freak out. They threatened me. They did this. They came in I, here. I think you guys heard me. I don't threaten people. No. I never, told them if you I touch anybody, shit. I'm going to fucking wreck you, I dude. Just talk shit. Fuck you, stupid asshole. Get back to work. We just had this conversation before we left, too. If anything happens, there, one of us ain't getting into a fight. It's both of us. Okay. We don't play that shit when we're traveling. We're not going to stand here and watch them get, you know, fucking beat up or something. I don't mind if you wait at least 10 seconds, though, because usually... No, no, no. If you're squabbling, dude... I'm saying, so if, I'm, if you I'm, count to 10, usually I'm, it's already over. You know? I'm doing the lights <laughs> like, out thing real fast. Uh, yeah. So here's the video. Where were you actually standing when this happened? Right there. I know he has the video of this, but can you explain to me exactly where you were? Um, you saw the video. Yeah, I did. And then I have a couple questions for you, if you don't mind stepping up real quick. So I might answer them. Did you, did you come up, did you go into the business at all prior to that or after that and threaten him at all? Threatening? No. Did you tell him anything along the lines of, if you don't leave or, I mean, just in a threatening manner? No. No? And so, can you walk me through, and I know you already talked to my partner real quick, but just walk me through how the whole incident happened. I know you had it on video, so, okay. but I kind of want to hear it personally, because you, you showed it really well on your, on your video. What did he say? So, can you walk me through, because I haven't spoken to you. I didn't tell him he was about to get audited. I was standing right there on the sidewalk. Right. I was, those, those I was actually filming camera. that way. This guy comes no, out. we were actually right recording there by the time. Side 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 this is when you guys walked up. Saying, hey, this is probably Oh, yeah. He was just want, he wanted to see him talk to his boss. He, he said he works right here. He was going to go talk to his boss. We didn't know that he was the owner. So we went in to see if his boss was there. He said, I own it. And he just told us to leave and we left. I asked him, said, do you work here? He said, no. I said, okay, I'm going to go talk to you. He's wearing the shirt. I said, okay, I'm going to go talk to your boss. And then uh, I go in there, and obviously there's no, nobody no, else no. in there but him and a customer. Are you filming at that time? <laughs> Do you mind if I just take a look at that real quick while he's filming us? Why? Do you mind if I just look at that real quick? See, what you're trying to do is you're trying to turn this around, and I'm not going to let you do that. That's not what's important. Nobody got threatened. I'm allowed to go in there until he told me to leave, and I left. That's all that there is to it. we have two different stories about what transpired in there. There was a customer in there. Did you ask the customer? He was standing, sitting there the whole time while we were having this conversation. Did you do your due diligence and ask the customer? Okay, does he have cameras in there with audio recording? You should probably check those before you ask me, right? Okay, did you hear anything? Okay. 
I can only hear um, Mr. Barova. You, you were wanting to get All he said is, I'm the one that works here, man. Now I'm asking you to leave my shop. But you're trespassing. I said, okay, no problem. See you later. Don't try to turn this around, dude. We, we're trying to recoup damages from my friend. Oh, he's getting this charged criminal mischief. We are charged because he didn't want to pay for the phone. Oh. So he's getting charged. He don't want to pay for your phone. Yeah. No, and he that, don't want to pay for your phone. So, so he's, he's not going to do that. So I already told him. I already explained it to him. We, we have what an idiot. Charges on him. Okay. Um, he's not willing to work with it. Why? Um, I am going to have to get your identification, get everything straight. I gave him all my I got everything cool. Um, would you guys be willing to write a uh, statement for him? I'm not. What happened? Okay, cool. So I'll send over the link and you guys can update that. I'll send you the video. Write a statement okay. for us. Okay. Let me, let me send that over. Do you have a card? Yes, I will send that over right now. What's his story? You beat the hell out of him? No, no, no. He just, he just doesn't want to handle it civilly out of state, so... He doesn't mind taking criminal charges. I don't what know. What an idiot. Whatever. That's Criminals. silly. Criminals. That's, uh, I don't understand it. This but. meter? Yeah. Yes. Well, why not assault? I mean, I mean, why approach people, though? You know, like, why... It is, it is assault. And he walks up and does that? Are you serious? That's assault. You can't claim to be this character That's when simple you're the assault. assault, at least. Well, it would be harassment because uh, there's no pain. It so would be, he, exactly. Yeah, because unwanted touching, essentially. So, not criminal damage. Well, a criminal damage mischief could go with that also because he damaged That's what the other thing. officer said, I think. So, it could be harassment and criminal mischief. It should be criminal. It's not so much fun. I have to be able to use it. Thousand What's your phone number so I can send that over to you? Uh, I'm not going to give you my phone number. You can give me a card with the email that I need to send it to you. I don't give out my information, but Yeah, like an email? You can no send. emails. I don't give any kind of information to the police. Okay. You, you can give me information, and I'll send it I to will. you. Because it's to it his to benefit, so you're going to get it. Of course. So you just cited him, cite and release kind of thing. Yeah, for this, it's most likely that's what's going to happen. Yeah, that seemed weird to me. I mean, that was pretty violent, man. I don't know if you, you know. Thank you. Where is the email? You write the email on here? Or just send it it's to you? It's on there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Where's the I want to know why he's running my plate. Is this a resident absolutely necessary? Oh, okay. My actual address. Yeah, but what does my address have to do with that? They don't need your address. No, man. You can, get, no, they, you can contact through email. Okay, I appreciate it. Uh, and the this? purpose of me asking this in video this is he's saying you threatened him. And I like to refute that by looking at the video footage. Because that, well, that's a lie on his part. No, you're trying to confirm it by looking at my video footage. By me saying I didn't do it and no. without you having evidence of me doing it, that's a refutation right there. So you don't need to pursue it any okay. further. I, look, Correct? I'm just trying to do my job, okay? And if he's saying it, if I, I mean, can't refute it... I know how you're trained. You're trained to continue to seek things, and that's not your fault. I don't, I'm don't. i not no, faulting no. you for that. I got to do my due diligence, like you said. I got you. But your due diligence was coming and asking me. And if you I have evidence to the it. contrary, other than somebody no, else's words, then it's his it. word versus my word word and that's all it is yes if he's saying you did something and you can't say anything otherwise i said I can it didn't happen yeah. okay you're saying it didn't happen yeah. okay he didn't Without, threaten me no he's saying you threatened him no, with why? bodily harm you can watch my body camera footage because i'm the scariest one here <laughs> i wasn't here at the time man and all is it the see, neck tattoo did the neck tattoos threaten him is that what it is do you get that sometimes okay. You threaten me. Look, I'm trying to help you out, okay? Come on, man. All right, that's fine. Come on. on I'm seasoned at this, bro. That's cool. Uh, uh, you can tell me. Yeah, I don't got... Look, man. I'm here. This is it. Can I get another one of your cards, please? Of course. Are you going to put that link on a card for me? How much detail do I got to go? Uh, actually, I'll give you a email. card, and then you can email really it to me if you bro. like. I have everything uh, objective viewpoint. There you are. I mean, your body cam's rolling, right? Yes, sir. Hey, as long as his body cam's rolling, that's the statement right there. So I don't even need to. No, you don't need to. That's what I do. You don't need to, no. We got the objective viewpoint of what happened. This, look, 
I'm not saying they're trying. I'm not saying you guys. Are, look, I mean, let me explain to you that exactly. this in court, the prosecutor is going to try to use this to contradict to, what to, you said in the body it camera. It's footage. only going to benefit you, but hey, if you don't want to, it's if, cool, but it's if it does, not I'm not saying you guys are doing nothing nefarious. But the, if the if this contradicts what's in the body cam footage, then that could be adverse for him in court. I'm not saying well, right here. No matter what, I saw the video personally, right. so the video shows him coming up, right. so smacking the phone out of your hand. That, that's what we got, okay? Right. You're okay. I'm glad you're okay. We don't need any medical. Um, I'm glad everybody's okay. Um, I'm going to give you the case number Are here real quick. Yes, thank you. I'm thinking I'm I was just wondering, like, if I did that to someone, if they would just get oh, me yeah, up. I wonder went to jail for sure. Huh? Like yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wonder if I would have gotten cited and released. Absolutely. Like, if I no, just no, up you would have went to jail. And I went, wham. Like, is there a, a reason why he's not being arrested for, for a violent act like that? For that, I mean, realistically, it's going to be. Do you have discretion? Officer, so, as far as yeah. the discretion, I'm, it's misdemeanor, okay? So, for me, it's just a simple sight and release. Super simple. And that's every time. No Not every what. time. Not every time. Not but every the majority. Time. So what about this circumstance makes you feel like you should give him some leeway? I feel like everybody is okay. Everybody's safe. Nobody is hurt. We're at a different level than okay is. But this is just a spur of the moment. So only if somebody got caused aggressive. physical pain, you then you... So had this not, not been a business owner? Not necessarily. No, no, I said had he not been a business owner, he probably would be getting arrested right now. Because he's got money, he can show up to the council meetings, he prob he pays the council to be able to operate a business right here. They all have to ask for fucking approval to operate a business in the city. Like that's why this is going like that. He does. He's yes, taxpayer, probably a voter. The, well, is it completely shattered? Cracking, yeah. You, you might if I take a picture of that? No, go ahead, yeah. I mean, that phone replacement, retail value. Okay. Well, if you guys are good, then I think we're good. I'm going to go deal with him now, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Take care, Stay Thanks, safe. Man. Yeah, you were good last time, man. Saying I should all be able to get it faster since it's my case. It when you act like this. And That's not true, man. I think things get taken out of perspective. But I don't, I don't mean it in that sort of way, because I understand what you guys are doing. A lot of people don't be careful. A lot of people aren't exposed to that yet, so they don't understand it. That's more, okay. that's more or less wrong. Yeah, but I mean, it's kind of black and white, man. You said when you do stuff like this, he loves it. He loves it. That's what you said. I don't love it, man. That's not what I want. I get what you're doing, and I appreciate you. Oh, I love it, man. A quarter million followers later, I love it. Good job, guys. <laughs> Stay safe. You too. You too. You're looking for Three of them. We found them. <laughs> That's three no blinkers. What's he doing? Uh, he's trying to trick you out. 
he's honking at you now. Should I, should I talk to him? Should you engage? What's up, man? Flash your light at him, dude. He's flashing. Hey! What's up? Hey! What's up? Yeah, I'm calling you. You're not, why didn't you use your blinker three times? Okay, let's uh, see if we can park over here somewhere. He's shining his light over here. Just keep breathing, you'll be good. Hey man, can you stop flashing your light in my face, please? He's shining his light in my face. Who had it on when I walked up? You or me? Exactly. As soon as yours shuts off, so does mine. You're actually breaking the law right now, man. 13 21 128. The guy that starts it wants me to fucking back down first. Go fuck yourself. No, still on. You're the big baby. I wonder how many complaints you got on your jacket. What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? Do you have a policy to identify? Huh? Yeah. I read your policy, 837 pages. Hey, Sergeant, I want to put a complaint in on this officer. I need his name and badge number. <laughs> hey, Jack Wagon. Name and badge name number. Okay. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait and see what car you get in. Then I'm going to call non-emergency dispatch and find out who the fuck's driving that car. And then I'm going to put a complaint in on you for failing to identify and obstructing my, my, civil, do my civil rights here. I don't know if you're under investigation already. Maybe you're being sued, but that's not going to help. Remember, you're the only one out of all of you doing this. Everybody else is ignoring us. Hey, Sergeant, you gonna make your officer identify? Why don't you give me one of them cards? Yeah, that's a good boy. You don't want a complaint. See, as soon as you shut yours off, I shut mine off. Be respectful, fucking dick. You started the flashlight game when I walked up, you dumb piece of shit. I turned mine on in response to yours, you dumb fucking piece of shit. You started it. Don't play the fucking victim, pussy. All right. All right, nothing. All right, nothing, asshole. You're parked on the sidewalk, too, by the way. Can I fuck your wife? Can I? Will you let me? Can I fuck your wife? I use that. No, I'm not gonna start. That's the only time I'll use it. I just felt like seeing if it would trigger him. Fucking bitch. They cleared out quick, didn't they?
Oh, bugger. Yep. We're pulled. Show as shit. Where are you going to pull at? Right here. Well, the door's locked. Yeah. <laughs> Window's cracked about that much, do you think? So we can hear? Yeah. There we go. Here today by visiting us. You aren't speeding. You use your turn signals. Should have washed your windows. Hey, I'm Officer McCutcheon, Police Department. How are you? Hey, how you doing? Is there a reason why you keep asking pilots for shining your lights on this? Can you hold on your window so I can see you too? No. No, can you roll on your window so I can see you? No, I don't. I'm not going to roll my window down. Okay, can you step out so I can see you? No, what, what are you pulling me over for? What, did I commit a crime or traffic violation? Yeah, that's, that's called obstruction, man. No, it's obstruction. not. Obstruction, you have to, what, where's the crime scene? Where's the crime scene? Yeah, with obstructing, you have to have a crime scene. Yeah, we're trying to do traffic investigations and we can't do that if you keep shining the lights we can't see the traffic. I'm not shining any lights. Oh, right. <laughs> He's stretching. He is stretching. You did three times. Oh uh, no. That's not how that works. Obstruction. So ID, uh, ID for what? What's the law that it what's the law I broke? Obstruction. Obstruction? Yeah you're hindering an investigation. I'm hindering an investigation. Yes, I don't think so, man. Okay. Never you have to have a crime scene. There's no investigation we going on. I want to get a supervisor. Okay, well, what's going to happen? Supervisor. What's going to happen then? Can I get a supervisor out here? Yeah, he'll be here. Okay, I'll wait we'll for the wait supervisor for then. Yep. Okay. There's no Thank law you. broken. 16 yep. 3 103 says you have to Can suspect me of a crime. You're dismissed. Let me know when there's a supervisor. Thank you. Open your door, step out. Why are, what 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 crime am I suspected of committing? You have to have a crime. Open your door and step out. What crime do you suspect me of committing that you would want me to step out? Obstruction. Open the so door. So I'm detained right now? And step out. I'm detained? Yes, you're, you're, you're about to. Oh, so I'm not about detained right be? now? Yes, you're about to be. But you're, you're obstructing that because you won't open the door. But I have to have committed a traffic violation or a crime. About 16 3 103. Lock your door and open your door. 16-3-103, I have to commit a crime. Well, lock your door and open your door. That's how many times I've asked. Should I get out of it? Should I get out? I mean, you think you'll break your window over? I'm gonna get out. I'm under arrest. Oh, I'm under arrest. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not one of those other officers that you play with all the time, okay? Oh, wow. Wow. We're gonna take custody of your truck, all right? Yeah. You wanna hop in the driver's seat? Guys, you need to just stay in the car, okay? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take custody of the truck. Stay in the car. Don't. I don't want to see anyone get into the driver's seat. Just stay in the car in the positions you're in currently. Do you understand? Do you understand? I need a verbal yes or no. I don't answer understand? questions. I don't answer questions. Okay. I better not see you in the driver's seat. Why are we... What are you worried about? I better not beat your wife. You're slamming the door damaging property. Now your prior restraint shining the light. Shine him. Walking on eggshells right now. <sighs> I'm taking my seatbelt off now because I'm not driving anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll make sure. That's locking everything up. Are we legally parked right now? I have no idea. I think so. I hope so. Can't. He's gonna turn the truck off for you. Turn the truck off, take the keys. You feel more comfortable now? I 
can't see what they're doing to him. Uh, I don't know. They got us trapped in like, I know. wild animals, dude. Doors are locked, right? Yep. Is there a reason you won't allow us to watch what you're doing to our friend? Why are you keeping us locked in here like this? What did we do? I see you're too much of a coward ass little bitch to answer a simple question. Fucking handle a little fucking anything. <laughs> this is blowing my mind right now, dude. He wants his phone and his wallet to take with them. That's what he said. You want to give Can him the I phone? Can I hear that from him? Can we hear that from him? No, if you don't want to give it to me, that's fine. I don't know where, ask him where his wallet is. I don't know where his wallet is. On the center console. Okay, if for, one, if for you guys to drive this car away, I need to see proof of insurance. Proof of insurance? Yep. You want to ask him where his insurance is? I don't have to give you a valid driver's license. I'm not detained. No, no, no. All I need to do is tell you I have a driver's license, no. asshole. I don't know where his insurance is. you guys to drive his truck, I need to see proof of insurance and the driver's license for that person that's going to drive it away. Well, then we can leave it right here because we got the keys. See you later. We're legally parked, bud. You want to leave it yep, bye. Bye bye. I think he's going to tow it. Hold on, ask him if he's huh? going to tow it. So, you don't want to give me any insurance? I'm going to have somebody come pick it up. We can leave it here, right? It's fine to be left here. Can yeah, it's legally later? parked right now, yes. Do you want to give me any insurance? I'm, I'm not. You, All right, that's if you want my driver's license, I'm not giving you my information. I'll sh If I can find his insurance, I'll show you his insurance. I'm not giving you my information, okay, dude. so he'll be in Arapahoe County Jail, okay? Okay, sure. Arapahoe County Jail. Arapahoe County Jail. Arapahoe County Jail. Arapahoe County Jail. You have fun? 12 hours hard time, man. <laughs> it's rough out here, bud. Well, did you have fun, Jim? I did very much so. What about you? Did you have fun? Yeah, dude, I had fun. Appreciate you I'll having us. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Fuck yeah. I'm trying to avoid getting all the, the fine details of the house yeah. right here. Uh, this house has already been on the internet. Dude, oh, yeah. I would like to say. Thank you very much, not yeah. only for your generous hospitality, but for your courage in doing what you do. Thanks, like man. taking that arrest last night, man, it shows a lot of who you are and how far you're willing to go and your, the, the level of fear that you don't have when you're coming up against government, you know. Man, respect. Right, My man. respect for you has gone up. Very good cool. time, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you guys coming out, being there, bonding me out. And yeah. 
fuck yeah. Lot, man. It would have been funnier, though, if we would have just <laughs> dipped out, came back here, <laughs> grabbed our shit. <laughs> yeah. like, what if we, as soon as we went to jail, we just took an Uber back to his house, gathered our shit, and took out about a town. That'd be fucked up. That would be definitely that would fucked be up. unforgivable, in my opinion, literally. I would be, you would have to have, you would have to be able to convince me and prove to me that your kid was sick or something and you had to yeah. go now, you know? <laughs> yeah. Extenuating circumstances. Well, shit, I had fun. I had loads of fun, man. This was a great trip. I hope this is a, a good indicator of, of future events, you know, like, I already know whenever you eventually come out to Phoenix, we're going to have a good time. All right. Yeah, you and I'm coming out way. to Phoenix, uh, not sure when, but I will be. And then also, you're going to have to come back anyways for that Court thing, stuff. probably. Yeah, yeah, so, to get made whole. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, that was fun. That Deuces! Was fun. Bye from me and Minnie. <laughs>